<laughs> Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory, Dr. Seuss. Putting together a great celebration party like a birthday can be very time consuming, but you have what it takes to put it all together because you do it every year. You have the skills to make it great. You've organized the location, the decor, or the invitations, the snacks, the helpers, the cake, and all the rest of it. Your setup is the best, and it's going to be the greatest party ever. And then the event comes along, and besides only a tiny few hiccups, which only you noticed anyway, the whole thing went really well. The person at the center of it all, your birthday boy or girl, was adored and most people went home with the memories of having had loads of fun. Mission accomplished. But as time would have it, our memories reduced to only a blur of the occasion. Highlights of the biggest whoopsie or a touching moment always outshine the rest. No matter how much work you put into this party, how much care went into the details of each invitation, or the hours spent sourcing or even baking a crazy cake, it all fades away. Sometimes we cling to party decor for years after until they've gathered so much dust that we hide them away from ourselves because we still don't have the heart to throw it away. And at the very best, you have a series of photos and video clips somewhere in the deep end of your phone or on someone else's phone or in a messenger group created after the party where you all shared your memories with each other. But these two end up pretty much forgotten. Lost in a file, in a file, in a file labeled to sort on a hard drive, in a box that says to sort on a shelf in a spare room. These photos and video clips all too often don't do the birthday or the memory of the birthday any justice whatsoever. The best we can hope for is seeing a glimpse of what we, our friends and family, once looked like all those years ago. And so, what is the alternative? What is the solution to this media clutter that we collect at every opportunity a memorable occasion arises? Take better pictures. Make a video, they say. Well, some of you may have already tried hiring a professional, but that comes with a price tag. We tend to do this for big once-off occasions like weddings, but this can be a little bit pricey year on year for say, little Timmy's birthdays. Maybe some of you have already tried capturing a birthday yourself and either settled for what you got or given up. And I completely understand why. Because as if putting an event like this together and running around making sure it's all going smoothly wasn't enough. You have to now go and learn how to get your settings right, learn what aperture means, know what lighting to use, buy extra accessories, find the right app, then learn how that app works too, and figure out what is a frame rate. And to top it all off, you probably end up asking somebody else for help anyway. No ways. But you say no ways at what cost? Little Timmy is only going to be five once. So you need to find a solution here. There has to be some technology out there that will make this easier. There has to be. It's crazy that we live in a world where photography has become an everyday person's hobby. The Instagram bubble has still not burst 10 years on because it's not a phase. It's become a way of life. Think about it. Instagram has lasted longer than the 80s. So by now, we should be swimming in beautiful content to kickstart our memories whenever we want it. You should be able to show a slideshow of little Timmy's fifth birthday at his 21st birthday because we're in the 21st century, damn it. But this really works out that way. This really works out for any of their guests at any event ever. Because how many nice, engaging slideshow videos that flood back the memories of it all do you have from the last party you went to? Yeah, I thought so. Because doing even more work just to make the memory of the party better is too much. In fact, for most people, capturing memories gets in the way of truly living in the moment. Instead of enjoying yourself, 
you were trying to capture it all for later. And it's crazy, but we all do this all the time. Here's a bit of good news. You're actually just doing it wrong. And the mistake you're making is so simple to fix. You can have both the living memory and the recorded memory without them interfering with each other. I've been filming events like kids' birthdays for over 10 years, and I've been doing things a little bit differently to how you would imagine. And you can also benefit from a completely different approach to capturing memories. I need to share only one thing with you to change everything you thought you knew about capturing better memories. And it can be done in a simple and easy way because it's not about how to capture something. It's about what you capture. That's it. But obviously that's not enough for an explanation. So here's a quick overview. People with no experience in taking photos or making videos will 10 out of 10 times ask me all the wrong questions. Like, what camera should I buy? How many lenses do you need? How should I hold my camera correctly? How do I make it look like that? Which app is best? How much was your tripod? What exactly is Aperture again? All of these questions are just icing on the cake. Sure, it makes the cake look good, and it adds that sweet layer of yumminess to the overall package. But if the body of the cake is dry, no amount of icing is going to make it better. Good icing on dry cake pretty much only makes it tolerable. Definitely not memorable. If you want to know which camera to get to capture better memories, then you are completely focusing on the wrong stuff. What you do need to know is what went into the cake to make it good. How many eggs, how much flour, how much sugar and whatnot went into the dough to get the mix just right. And that's it. Do not start the process of capturing memories by trying to take better photos or filming like a pro. Start by capturing the right content. The internet is filled with things that people love to watch that are filmed terribly. But the content of what happened in the video makes people love it. If you want a memory to be like this, something that captures a life event in all its glory as it happened, then you just need to know the combination of what to capture. How you capture it is secondary. It's the icing on the outer layer of the cake. And this little story is going to get even better for you now because there is a simple recipe to follow. After studying my own videos, I looked at the content that performed best and a simple pattern started to emerge. If I got one of these and two of those and three of these shots, somehow that combo made people really appreciate the final product. If you follow a birthday based on a winning recipe, you're not going to waste your time getting what you don't need. Just like your cake needed three eggs, not four. Because who knows how that would turn out. Also, when you capture only what you need, the pressure is off. You can see a moment, capture it, pack your phone away and resume your enjoyment of living in the moment. With a clear-cut recipe, you can easily delegate the task to other people. Hey dad, can you capture five images of the kids playing? Hey mom, can you film the cake coming out? You see, it only takes two seconds to do this if you know upfront who is going to do what. And then let the day unfold because you know at the end, you will have everything you need to relive this amazing moment in your life again later. This becomes bizarrely easy when you follow a checklist because to really capture the emotion and the memory of a birthday, you only need a series of 20 to 40 images and clips of the right stuff. And when you have the right photos and clips, you can throw them together in an app to make a slideshow video in a matter of minutes because this list is basically an editing recipe. You don't even have to understand how editing works. You just have to follow the instructions. This combination of shots turns a slideshow into a story. This combination of ingredients is what makes the center of your cake turn out so yummy, everybody will want a piece of it. So if you want to make a brilliant birthday slideshow that your birthday person and your guests 
and you can enjoy years later, then all you need is the recipe. I want to share my recipe with you and it's absolutely free. Click through to download your birthday memory checklist because sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory.